Okay, guys, good morning, everybody. This is Best of Life. Ah, this is just a test, testing, testing, something like the Lord laid in my heart. And I just wanted to talk a little bit about the love of God and his power. It is an amazing thing to fall in love with Jesus. It is an amazing thing to love him. It is just an amazing thing to serve God. Uh, it's, 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 it's just amazing. Testing, testing, testing. Without God, you are nothing. I've come to realize in my life that he's my source. He's my rock of ages. He's the I am that I am. Hey, they go bush. He's the he's my everything. And this is why the Lord, I pray that He uses me to inspire generations to fall back in love with Him. He uses me to inspire people to come back to reality. Come back to your first love. Give your heart to Him. Give your soul to him. This time that we are living in is called perilous times. These are wicked days. These are days that the enemy wants to crush upon us. But because of the love of God, he says in the book of Psalm, uh, excuse me, Isaiah 41 verse 10, he said, do not fear for I am with you. Do not fear anything. Do not fear anyone for I am with you. You know what that means? That no matter what comes your way, no matter what the obstacle is, no matter what the circumstances are, no matter what it is, voodoo, whatever it is that people are trying to do over your life, it won't work. They said that the weapon will be formed. Jesus did not say that they're not going to plot against you because they plotted against him. They did not say that they're not going to say things about you because they will say things about you. But whatever this says, the Bible come back to them and said that no weapon faction against my child shall prosper in the name of Jesus and every word that is formed against her which me every naysayers every gossipers everyone that is sitting around the table talking about you their words shall be condemned in the mighty name of Jesus and so with that being said it brings about some sort of peace some sort of happiness some sort of joy something it just it just does something to me it's the love of God is 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 so important and is so magnificent that it, it 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 brings me to a level in my life where I am dependent upon Him. He's the lover of my soul. He's my friend. And I remember a day. Um, there was a day that when I was I actually fell asleep, and I found myself actually sleeping. I always tell the Holy Spirit, please be my alarm system because I know I will sleep and I will get late for work. And he does it all the time. But this time it was different because while I was in a deep sleep, I heard my friend. It was so salt. It was so uh, soothing. It was amazing. When he said it, it came with power, but not power that you would, you would see destruction. It came with my friend. And he knows, he knows that I know his voice. And I said, Holy Spirit, my dear Lord, thank you. Thank you for everything that you do for us. Thank you for preparing us in the middle of whatever it is. Thank you, God that you've never given up on some of us. Tonight, I want to bless you guys with a word from the Lord. And it says in the book, it's a simple word. And we always might, we always overlook this word because it's so simple, but we say it all the time. Even our children know this word by heart. We say, John 3, 16, for God so loved the word that he gave his only begotten son. And that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have what? Everlasting life. That is a power-packed word within itself. But many times we just say it because it's so fast and we're so used to saying it. <laughs> so we say it so quickly. But that's a power-filled word. That Jesus, the Messiah, our King of Glory, Jehovah Adonai, love us so much. He loved us so much that he would send his only begotten son on the earth to be tortured 
to be tortured by mankind, to be crucified, to be whipped, 39 whips on his back. Oh my goodness. To share on the cross of Calvary, that tree that he had to spare, that he had to place his two hands, and those two hands were nailed together. His feet were nailed together because of sinners of us. And so if you don't believe in him, the Bible says, then you are foolish. But those that believe in him shall inherit the kingdom of God. I pray today, my brothers and my sisters, that you come to a place of loving God sincerely and inheriting all the good things, the benefits that he has for us. This morning, I just bless you and I bless God and I thank him for his power and I thank him for his strength and I thank him for everything. May God be your strength this evening. May God be your source. May God be your everything. Again, this is Pastor Life. You know how we do all the time. But this time now, God has given me something. He said to me, he said, look at your house. You have a big house. And um, this particular room is supposed to be my living room, but I have another living room. I wish I don't. I don't use this room at all. And the Lord said to me, he, a, a small voice again and said, uh, make this place a wall of fire minister from here so that the people will see and know my name please subscribe share in jesus name amen thank you for listening